Merry Christmas, K-Beauty fans. It's come a little bit early for us. This is the Yes Style Cosmetopia Advent Calendar. Now this is an advent calendar that contains 24 full-size Korean skincare and makeup products. Now this retails for $150, but it claims to contain over $350 worth of products. So give this video a big thumbs up because today we're gonna find out what is inside. So spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know, click off this video now. We're gonna find out what's inside of each and every single one of the boxes in this advent calendar. Plus, I'm gonna let you guys know, do I really feel like this is worth trying to uh, get because there are limited quantities? And not only that, but I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks on how to get your hands on one of these babies. <music> let's just admire the packaging. I mean, this is incredibly impressive. I mean, to unwrap this or unbox just this alone without seeing what's inside, this is a beautifully uh, designed advent calendar. They've really thought this through. I've seen some really cheap looking advent calendars. This ain't it. So the inside story is just the same as the outside. This is so well designed. They've got the products on the panels on the inside uh, along with the characters really beautifully displayed. So let's find out what's inside. Okay, so let's start with December 1st. Okay, so I'm seeing like some sheet masks maybe. So these are from the brand V10. I don't think I've ever heard of V10 before. Um, but what this is, this is a blackhead powder cleansing tea bag. Okay, so you get it wet and you start to foam it up and then you use that foam on your face. So it's cool because it's in the shape of a tea bag. I've never seen that delivery method before. And I love that they give you a couple of them. They didn't just give you one, they give you five. So this sort of feels more like a stocking stuffer kind of a product, right? So I'm okay with, with five of those, but let's let's just see, let's keep going. Um, Number two is down here. Okay, so we've got a full size product here. This is Skin and Lab. Gently Vita Exfoliator. This is like a peeling gel. So this is the type of gel that you um, put onto your face and then as you start to massage it, it balls up, removing the dead skin cells. Now, you know, some people think that those little balls are actually, they are dead skin cells. That's not quite it. It actually just, the product itself is meant to ball up. And then those balls are what actually exfoliate the dead skin cells off of your skin. And it always leave, like leaves your skin super soft. So this is interesting. Now this um, has little capsules in it little like uh, vitamin C capsules in it so this is really supposed to help like boost the brightening effect I think of this product so um, really interesting one here from Skin and Lab. Nice to see a full-size product on day two as well. Number three. Number three. What is number three? Okay this is from the plant base. I can't open it. I need scissors. Hold on. Okay, so this is from the plant base. This is their Waterful Moist Balance Hyaluronic Acid 100. So this is like a hyaluronic acid focused product. I think that's probably like the only main ingredient in here. And this packaging, holy moly, like this is like really nice looking packaging, like just really thoughtfully designed. The dropper is built into the cap, so just when you twist it open, it sucks up product. It's almost like a gel kind of, like a jelly gel type of serum. It is a little bit thicker. Okay, yeah, it definitely just has a touch of tack like you expect hyaluronic acid products to have, but it's actually really not as bad as I was thinking for such a, a heavy hyaluronic acid focused product. Uh, it feels nice and it definitely like, even just having put it on my hand now, my hand feels pretty plump. So that's exciting. This is interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is a fragrance free product too. So I'll be looking forward to trying this one out. Number four, okay. Bum, ba, da, da. Buy Wish Trend Polyphenols in Propolis, 15% Ampule. <laughs> I was so like rude on this Ampule. <laughs> I was so rude on this Ampule the other, um, the other week uh, in my video. I was just, you know, I was just clocking this because of the name, um, just because it it is propolis, it's 15%, which is a, a good amount of propolis. It's not a huge amount of propolis, but it's a good amount, um, just because there is um, hutinyana, I think that's how you say it, hutinyana extract makes up actually 59% of the serum. And so I was like, I don't know, 
know why they don't call it the Hoot and Yana ampule, whatever. This is cool too, because it's like a fragrance and essential oil-free ampule. This is really, really good for acne prone skin. It's got a lot of anti-inflammation um, properties to it. It's a slightly astringent ampule too. So like oily skin types will really like this one a lot. Um, it's not overly moisturizing like some propolis ampules can be. So if you have oily skin, this is actually probably really, really the one that you want to look at. Five looks like some more sheet masks. The Secret Key Starting treatment essential mask and I'm actually pretty excited about this one because this is totally fragrance free there's no fragrance no essential oils I I mean fragrance is a really common culprit in sheet masks well just in skincare but in sheet masks so for those of you guys who prefer fragrance free sheet masks I don't see any artificial or natural fragrances in here this also if you're a ferment king or queen this has five different fermented ingredients um, really high up on the list it's super cool including uh, fermented rice uh, brand, which I know a lot of you guys love fermented rice. It really brightens up the skin. Five of these masks in here, so you can get a really good idea of like what this baby can do for your skin from five. Eh. <laughs> okay, number six. So this is the Innisfree Jeju Lava Sea Water Eye Serum, and I must admit, I already peeked at this one. <laughs> Um, I peeked at this one because I was excited about this product. Um, this is an eye serum. So this is actually meant to go on um, before your eye cream. I mean, I guess you could use it in place of your eye cream. If you don't like heavy creams around your eyes, this could be the answer. It's almost more like kind of gel-like and it's just meant to kind of like help plump, hydrate, um, and you know, obviously help prevent fine lines. But wow, it's already even just made this area feel really smooth um, and really, yeah, really just silky uh, to the touch. I have to check this one out because this one might be kind of like, let's be honest, this one probably might be silicone heavy because uh, it's making my skin feel really like smooth and silky, you know, like a silicone would. So I got to check that one out. But anyways, I mean, I, I think that this product concept is pretty cool. I'm kind of excited to see what this might be able to do for me. Okay, lucky number seven. This is the I'm from Vitamin Tree Water Gel Moisturizer. I do like this brand. Um, I've had some issues with it in the past. I was kind of hoping that this was the Vitamin Tree Mask because I really want to try that one. Okay, I just wanted to smell it because I've heard that the mask, the wash off mask is supposed to smell really bad. <laughs> Um, there's no fragrance in this one, by the way. I'm not actually smelling anything, but this is a beautiful little gel texture on here. Wowee. This is really quite nice. So this has 68% of hippofay raminoids, which is sea buckthorn fruit, and that has a really high amount of vitamin C. So this is what's really going to help brighten the skin up. It also looks like there's niacinamide in here. Um, I noticed some bamboo water extract. Um, I see panthenol on here. So there's a lot of goodies um, in this one. I do think that this is probably just off of just off of feel. Oily skin types and combo skin types will like that one a lot. Okay, number eight has like a little like lip gloss or something on here. Do you see that? Like little illustration. So maybe that means that's what's in here. It's chocolate. <laughs> It looks like a chocolate bar. What the heck? I love how Yesa always puts their little like uh, sticker right over the logo. So I don't even know what this is called. 16. 16 brand. Are you 16? Are you? Are you 16? No. Are you 16 lipstick? Taste chew edition. Brown fudge. <laughs> Look at all this packaging. Okay, so it's a lipstick bullet. Oh, okay, this is a nice color. It's kind of, um, thick. Oh, okay, that smells like chocolate. <laughs> this smells like a Kit Kat bar. Uh, the color is really nice. It's, it's, um, it's a brown-based red. I thought, because they called it brown fudge, I thought it was going to be like a brown. Uh, very wearable. It doesn't look like it's like super, like, full-on color either, which I think is nice. So it's a very natural kind of a red. It's a cute little, uh, lipstick bullet. It kind of looks like a MAC lipstick, doesn't it? Number nine. Oh, it looks like we're getting a, like a, into quite a bit of makeup now. Agatha, and it's so cute because there's a little dog as its logo. Oh, Skin Radiance Primer. Here is the bottle. Just very simple. It's got the little dog logo on here. And let's just check it out. I'm curious to know if there's little shimmers in this one. Yeah, it's got like a little pearly uh, look to it. If you guys have ever tried the VDL primer, it's actually a really similar kind of a look. It's not sparkly. Um, but it's luminous. This one is definitely one of those primers that will make your, if you're like my skin tone or, or darker, you're gonna notice that this gives you a little lighter 
uh, skin tone. So beware of that. Beware of that line, right? Um, but it's actually really pretty. It's very natural looking too. And it is, it's, it's luminous. It's not shimmery, it's luminous. We're only on December 10th. Ooh, more makeup. Okay. More makeup. <laughs> this is from uh, Three Concept Eyes, which is actually a brand. Do you, I told you that YesStyle always does this with the label over the logo. From what I understand, Three Concept Eyes is basically like the Mac of Korea. Like it's just that popular. It's just that well known. Okay, so this is a blush cushion. Color is called peach. Oh yeah, it's a really nice peach. I mean, obviously the the box kind of gives the color away. It's pretty. It's up. It's not super orange. Um, I was thinking that this. And it's called peach, but I was thinking it was gonna be an orange peach. This is not an orange peach. This is a pink peach. I like that a lot. That's very nice. I'll definitely have to see how it looks like on my face, but from my hand just alone, it looks very pretty. Eleven, where? Are are you there you are it is more makeup this is the jelly me highlighter from holika holika or holika holika i have no idea i always call it holika holika i'm never sure okay so this is feel so candy feel so candy i'm missing you like candy yeah. Ooh, oh yeah okay well they called it jelly and it is a jelly kind of texture wow that's really pretty it's like a um rose gold almost um it's got some some really pretty dimension to it some really warm um pinks peaches and golds in here really really pretty holy moly this would be really pretty um on the eyelids too i think they're calling this a highlighter but put this on your lids uh, alone or um on top of an eyeshadow wow this is a very beautiful um and it's my it's it's quite micro glittery too so it's not big chunky glitter i'm just like wow that's really pretty i just keep looking at my hand but yeah that's a really nice one okay so we're on to december 12th which actually is my favorite day because that's my birthday and i already checked which one was in there <laughs> this is the mizan uh snail repair intensive gold um, eye patches, of course, label right on the logo. Okay, it's actually got a good amount of niacinamide in it. It's got 2% niacinamide, um, which is, you know, 2% of niacinamide is enough to brighten up your eye area. There's adenosine in here as well, very small amount, um, but adenosine is very good for wrinkles. 10,000 parts per million of snail secretion, which I think is about 1%. Uh, mushroom extract, that's interesting. There's peptides in here as well. There's eight different peptides in this eye gel. That's impressive. 13. Um, these are Chica y Chico, one kill eyeliner liquid brush pen. And they gave you black and brown. That's so cool. Like, thank you for being considerate of, of, of us, yes, style. Very nice brush tip on this one. It's very fine. These are uh, waterproof and smudge proof. Okay, 14 is a tiny little box. More makeup. This is a very makeup heavy advent calendar so far. I'm like, where's the skincare? <laughs> Peri Para ink fitting eye primer. It almost looks kind of purpley or like kind of lavendery. So let me see. Yeah, I think it has a little bit of lavender color to it, but it is just kind of like, it doesn't have like shimmer or anything to it. I think this is like a normal eye primer. It might have a little bit of color correcting um, to it. I'm not exactly sure, that's just a guess. Um, but Peri Para does make really good um, uh, eye products. I've used a lot of their eyeshadows before, so I'm curious to see how their eye primer performs. 15. It's more makeup. Okay, I guess at this point we're we're at we're at day 15 and I have to say if you are somebody who does not wear makeup, right? I don't think this advent calendar is worth it for you. Village 11 Factory Shimmer Prism Shadow. Oh, these are nice colors. Okay, so it looks like it's like a rose gold lighter color and then kind of like a bronzy brown. This is like the perfect combo, right? You got your lid color and your crease color. That's perfect. These look really nice too. Number 16. What do I feel here? I feel something round. Oh, and it's a little dirty. Casa X Perfect Sebum Centella Mineral Powder. Okay, great. This is a... So it's oil controlling powder. We're not quite back into, I'm trying to open it up and there's a sticker. I'm like, there's a sticker on it. Of course there's a safety sticker on it. Okay, I, I took the sticker off and I still, I'm really strong and I can't open this. This is embarrassing and this is all on camera. Is this a joke? I feel like this is gonna make a really funny segment for the video, but right now I'm not, I don't think this is funny. Why can't I open this? I'm not kidding, I cannot open. 
I cannot open this at all. Wow, okay, I was, I was not prepared for this. I can't open this at all, so we're gonna just move on and I don't know what, but, um, 17, let's hope we can open up 17. This is some lip gloss. Nake up, nake, nake, not make, nake. Nake up face. Um, I've heard of this brand before. Nake Up Face C Cup Deep Volume Lip Tox. Wow, first they're telling us that it's your, na your naked face and now they're talking about C cups. All right, makes your lips look vibrant and rich. Apply oil with tips included over the clean lips whenever you need richness. Sounds great. Um, yeah, so I think it's just like a little plumping gloss. It looks interesting, little racy name there for Korean makeup, but it's kind of fun. Everybody needs a little plumping now and then, right? Okay, 18 is another little one. Let's see. Uh, Moonshoot Air Blusher Soft P uh, Peony. They included two cushion blushers. Is that what this is? Okay, it's uh, it's not a cushion blusher. It is a powder blusher. Air blusher, for some reason, I thought meant cushion. But this is a powder matte pink. Very, it's going to be very, I can tell this is going to be very subtle. I'm a little like, hmm, two blushes. I mean, who doesn't need more blush? But two I don't know about that. Okay, so 19 is, I peeked at this one too. <laughs> it's the Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I definitely have been hard on the Midnight Blue Calming Cream. You guys know that I've kind of been like, eh, it's okay. This is like basically like a Seco cream, anti-irritation cream. It gets a lot of hype. I think that there are some that I like better, but this is still a good product. It works, you know, it does work. Uh, it is an expensive product, so it is nice to see this. I mean, this retails for like 20 five dollars at this little jar for twenty five dollars to see that the blue color is just so stunning isn't it okay we're we're almost there we're on number 20 day 20 it's a some by me um it's the aha bha pha 14 day super miracle spot all kill and then cream because there's a sticker over the logo. I would actually say this is quite a generous size for a spot treatment. The majority of this product is actually made up of Centella, but there are AHA, BHA, and PHA. So those are really going to help uh, to exfoliate the area to help bring the inflammation of that pimple down faster. Um, so this is definitely like another high value product. This is something very useful that a lot of people, you know, everybody needs a good spot treatment in their routine, right? So that's interesting to find a product like that in the advent calendar. 21. I peeked at this one too. <laughs> is it a true unboxing if I peeked? I'm sorry. This is the IUNI Propolis Vitamin Sleeping Mask and I am such a huge fan of their Propolis Serum but never repurchased it because I decided to move away from using essential oils in my skincare routine. This is, this doesn't have essential oils in it guys. So the texture of this is actually quite ointment like I'm surprised by the texture of this it kind of comes out almost like a uh, protective gel uh, so a thicker more moisturizing kind of a gel texture and it feels really softening already on my skin this is going to be really protective for those of you guys who have a lot of trans epidermal water loss just by the texture I can feel that it's going to be a very protective uh, layer and this is one of the products I think I'm most excited to see in this calendar all right 22 we're almost there we're almost there. Whoa, yes, this is a good one. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I really, really like this. Uh, this is quite balmy for the lips. Um, this is not like a thick or um, tacky or sticky or gloss-like product. This is truly a very balmy kind of lip product. I think if you have the type of lips that are dry on the inside, right? Not just dry and flaky on the outside, but it almost feels like your lips are dehydrated. Uh, it's a similar feeling to what it would be on your skin. Like you need deeper relief inside of your lips. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask is really good for that in my experience. I wear this during the day too, cause it's just, I have very dry lips and this just does the trick for me every single time. So they are giving you the full size product and this is huge. Like this, I told you that I use this um, in the daytime and every single night I leave it on my bedside. It still takes me six months to finish this. And most people, when I tell them, other people who have used this and I say it takes me six months to use this, they're like, girl, it takes me a year. <laughs> 
So uh, they're giving you a really, really generous size. 23. And I see more makeup. Yeah, if you're not a makeup wearer, I don't think this calendar is worth it for you. But for me, it's been great. Um, this is Chateau La Biot. Uh, this is their wine sticker on the logo. Uh, isn't this cute? It looks like a little wine bottle. I wanted to try this for a long time. This is fun. Honestly, like this is the type of product I love to get a uh, little stocking stuffers for like all the my like friends and all the like women in my family and do little like sheet masks and little lip products. This is totally something that I would buy um, to put in a stocking stuffer. This is such a great, like if you guys are looking for gift ideas, like this is so stinking cute. And even if your friends like aren't into K-beauty, but like they're into wine, they'll appreciate, you know, the packaging alone. It's beautiful, wow. It is a really pretty kind of classic red, but it's got some depth to it. And yes, I'm going to smell it to see what it smells like. Does it smell like wine? I don't know. I don't know. It smells good though. It smells kind of fruity. Uh, 24. This is the last one. And it is makeup. Etude House Lingerie Backstage Play Color Eye Palette. So it's a good size palette. Um, really pretty. I'm guessing there's going to be quite a bit of neutral shades in here. Lingerie kind of gives it away, right? Nudes. So those shades are really, really, really universal. Very, very flattering. Neutrals. We've got a little hint of pink and peach in here, lots of browns, and it's actually a good mix between matte colors and shimmery colors as well. Some really great colors in here. So I really wasn't expecting that to be as makeup heavy as it was. I mean, I did count. There are 12 makeup products and 12 skincare products. So it is a very 50-50 calendar, but that being said, if you are a skincare lover and uh, a makeup wearer, then you're going to love this uh, advent calendar. I think they did a very good job picking universal products products. Um, even with the skincare products, I think a lot of what they picked will suit most skin types. Um, there are a few products in here that I think if you are sensitive skinned, if you are not using fragrance or essential oils, there are a few that you probably are not going to be able to use. Um, you can re-gift them though. Um, generally speaking though, I do think that they did a very good job picking very universal products, skincare and makeup for everybody to enjoy. So the original question was, do I think it's worth picking up this advent calendar. And I do think that for $150, this advent calendar really does deliver, especially if you're a K-beauty fanatic. Definitely consider going in on this with somebody else. Maybe one person gets the makeup, one person gets the skincare, or you guys decide which who gets what. But you could easily split this calendar uh, with somebody. I think that that would be a really fun way to do it as well. So the bad news is it is a little tricky to get your hands on this one because they are releasing it in limited quantities on specific days. I've already heard from some of you guys that you've attempted to get it and you haven't been able to. So here's a couple of tips that can hopefully make you more successful if you do want to get your hands on this. There are two more release dates in October and they both happen on Wednesday. Those are the days you want to keep your eyes on. So the next day is going to be the 23rd. That is tomorrow. So you, you want to go to yesstyle.com. They have a countdown clock. So you want to check that for the most updated release time. But I would also recommend that you guys uh, get the yes style app and turn on the push notifications because they give you a 10 minute warning before the sale opens up which is helpful so that's tip number two tip number three is check out immediately um, putting it into your cart is not going to reserve your box so make sure that once you add it to your cart you check out immediately to make sure that you reserve your advent calendar so i'm really curious to know what product from the advent calendar are you most excited about um, or even better yet what product did you expect to see in the advent calendar that that wasn't in here i'm curious to know so let me know in the comment box below if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you love korean skincare and k-beauty please consider subscribing i release two new k-beauty focus videos every single week and turn on those notifications so you never miss when i upload those new videos i hope you guys are having a fantastic day i cannot wait to see you in the next video and we'll talk soon bye guys